God will never fail He has never has and He never will Say God will, God will never fail Never fail. Say God will, God will never fail Never fail. He has never had, he has never had, and he never will. And he never will. He has never had, he has never had, and he never will. And he never will. Say God will, God will never fail. Never fail. Say God will, God will never fail. Never fail. He has never had, he has never had, and he never will. And he never will. Say in him, in him we are safe. We are safe. Say in him, in him we are safe. He has never failed. He has never failed. And he never will. And he never will. He has never failed. He has never failed. And he never will. And he never will. Sing in him. In him. We are saved. We are saved. Sing in him. In him. We are saved. He has never failed. He has never failed. And he never will. And he never will. He has never failed. He has never failed. And he never will. And he never will. Yeah. Can we have another one? Sorry, it's just one more. <laughs> Sounds so good. Stay here, have your way, Lord. Dwell he have your way, Lord. Stay he have your way, Lord. So stay he, stay he have your way, Lord. Say dwell he, dwell he have your way, Lord. Stay he have your way, Lord. Say dwell he, dwell he have your Stay here, stay here, have your way, Lord. Dwell here, have your way, Lord. So stay here, stay here, have your way, Lord. Ooh, uh, do you get these or these or just? <laughs> I'm not too sure what to do right now. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, let me just introduce us real quick. Hi, good morning. If you are just joining us, this is Hashtag Social Friday, where we bring your weekend on a weekday. Me to Val or Valentine. Hey, that's enough. If you want to find me on social media, do to kutane up on you my attend. But of imborance is at white 54 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Now, let these handsome gentlemen please introduce themselves first. Kabla Twendele. Hi. Hello. I na dimples. Kama sakaja. Sorry. All right. What's your name? Yeah, hello Y254 family. My name is Alan Cliff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alan Cliff. Yes. Alan. Sorry. Alright, what's your name? Yeah. Oh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Meshak Mona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's so mine. are you guys a, a group? Are you just two people who make magic? <laughs> Musical magic. Well, no, we are a ministry. Uh -huh. Let's call it a group. Wow, at a sick group. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. a, in a, it's a ministry. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, a, a, a gospel musical ministry. Mm -hmm. So called the Noble Vessels. All right. So we are a big team, but. Today is just representing. I'm not shouting, but okay. Tell me about the Noble Vessels, how you guys came about, and what you stand for. Yeah, so hmm. Noble Vessels started in the year 2014. So there are pioneers who started it actually. Mm -hmm. We were not part of the team uh, by that time yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened is. Well, they were, or yeah, they were, some of them are already married, but um, they're a group of members of our church. Mm -hmm. We fellowship in Resurrection Temple International in Ambakasi. Mm -hmm. So they came together, they thought of creating a group where they can just have prayers and uh, go out to do evangelism and also worship, you know, and just 
praise God, you know. Mm. And that's how it came about. Just a few individuals, they formed the group. And then since 2014, it has grown to what it is right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it right now? Why? Well, <laughs> uh, well, what is it right now? Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically, uh, let me say the same thing. But, uh, you know, when God is in something, we believe that it's always new and mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. So, mm -hmm. man, it's still that new, that's, that's, that's ministry, mm -hmm. the Noble Vessels. And mm -hmm. uh, now the group is expanding in, in the sense that we are, you know, we are able to, to reach many now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. But that's kind of the point, like yeah. to reach as many people as you yes. can with the word, with the True. good news. Guys, kikwa pastors kumoja musipanik. Si ati nisai, si leo. But hashtag is Social Friday. Do you, did you participate as a group at the Rema Feast that just concluded? That was three days. Did you participate in any way, like Mulienda, Mamli perform, or did you? Well, Okay, in terms of going, mm -hmm. personally, I did not go mm -hmm. because I was held up with work. I couldn't get time off work. What do you do, aside from singing? Oh, aside from singing. Mm -hmm. Aside from singing, I work as a, as a customer care representative. Oh, that's why you're so polite. Okay. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I work as a customer care representative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just somewhere here in Ngong Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Do you have anything else you do aside from the ministry? Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I and don't I'm really in like business today. I don't really like talking about it, but <laughs> let me just say it. So I'm undergoing my uh, uh, my piloting training. So ah. I'm a, a pilot. A pilot to Sorry. Be. <laughs> mm. That's why you're so flat. Mm. Oh, wow! <laughs> Look That's at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you got jokes now. Okay. Yeah. You are, are you? From here, are you Kenyan? Um, uh, I'm an East African citizen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one has refused to give me further information, but I can hear the accent is, is a little bit foreign. Like mm. you're trying, but it's just, I can mm. just hear things. <laughs> Thank you. Hashtag social Friday. So today we're asking on our social media handles, uh, what exactly, do you have a memory from your childhood, something that happened, that, eh, like you just cannot forget? Yeah, I have loads of them. Loads, man. Hey. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I think this was a bold move. And uh, yeah, I was, I was even t sharing with him the mm -hmm. other day. Mm -hmm. There was this time, you know, uh, some part of my life nearly spent with Shago. Mm -hmm. So, Shago, my father really wanted me to know how to swim. So, of course, we shall go definitely to swimming pool. The only swimming pool, the, the natural one provided by God, River. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used to go there. There's this friend of mine who used to teach me how to swim. So, Kablani learned the ropes Vizuri. One day, it was during rainy season. Say it, so, it had rained and the river had over flooded. So, to Kendauko, and then I saw my friend. Aki swim, me ali swim aka cross. So ali kwa pro. Hmm. So me nika sema, man, um say, mazia me swim aka cross. I can at the other side. I can also do it. Nika ji thump kwa chest. Ten 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 ten. Do your sasa. And then I dived in. Could dive in, man. Acha ni chapo na currents. So ni kanza kukunywa ma caps. Ni kanza kukunywa pe ma. Eh, exactly. But luckily enough, my friend came through for me. Akanito. And you know what's amazing is that ever since that day, I've, I've never drowned. Even though, even though when you need to to swim, I'm not advising anyone <laughs> to follow my footsteps. Fire, but yeah, it just, every time I think about it in Anibamba. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm looking at you. It's a story <laughs> too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, oh, I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember my cousin and I, uh, we, by the way, we decided to play a game. It was a, it wasn't a, a good one, but mm. you know, <laughs> still wanted to play. <laughs> Being uh -huh. children, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't think about, you don't think about the consequences. But we, uh, it was like uh, I was uh, when I entered the house, uh -huh. we agreed, you know, like we'll be doing it. So this is my turn. I'll be entering the house, and then you will scare me. 
I will run and jump Allah. and jump. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, boys will then come there. back and do the same thing. But, you know, that stand of me and uh, uh, of mine, I just ran, then I fell. I uh, fell on my, uh, my arm. And, wow. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, bro it's uh, broke. Uh, wow. Well, <laughs> but now I'm, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, fine now. It was a long time ago. <laughs> now, boys, why do you like playing rough? But that, eh, Mr. Waiwailewa, but hashtag is Social Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to move a little bit, how to say, incognito. Let's put it like that, because I'm going to ask you about the concert, then we're going to go back, because I like the way you sing, so you're going to sing for me again. And then I'll get into your business one more time, right. and then, the, yeah, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. So, tell me about this concert. Yeah, so Angaza concert. Wow, Angaza started last year. Let mm. me sit upright. Oh, I like talking about Angaza. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, because it's it's an inspiration from God. You know, it started. Our coordinator is not here, but we have a coordinator, and uh, it's basically an idea that was birthed through. Let me just call it an inspiration from God again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were thinking as noble vessels to have an a concert, and in this concert, like perform our songs. But then again, we thought to ourselves, what is the end goal? What are, what are we achieving? Or what life are we impacting? We will just have a concert. People will come, have a good time, and then go away. And then, you know, that's it. They'll forget about it. Mm -hmm. So we thought as a team, why not, you know, come together, have a concert. But then, in this concert also, raise some funds to support orphans. We have orphans in our community. And then we have also widows. This year we're doing widows. So when it started, we just thought of doing a uh, supporting orphans and there's this children's home that we identify it's in Kayole it's called Emmanuel's children's home mm -hmm. so yeah we we did the concert last year we raised some funds and we were able to support where you know the the, the 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 children's home and then now this year we are doing it even in a bigger way because we want to reach out to more you know we believe personally that when you impact a child you know when you impact someone you know that's that's a testimony this person will always go carrying that testimony he will be able to share others he be, even he himself or herself should be able to support others be, you know because sure. Anna Kumbuka, mm -hmm. what was done to her when she was coming up yeah so basically that was the idea so Angaza concert is a concert yes and uh, we are the hosts the noble vessels we also have a few uh, other people who are supporting us who are partnering with us but um, the main aim of the concert is other than just launching our music we want to support the orphans in our community we've already identified an orphanage actually that we're going to work with it's called grapes yard institute mm -hmm. they have a school in korogocho we went there we we saw the areas of need that needs that they have and also we will be supporting the widows in our community we come from Mbakasi. you know there are women there who are really you know they're really powerful women and they just need empowerment yeah so in the juakali area we have a few of them there we'll be able also to support them during this year's Concert. Let it just be known, this is one of my favorite kind of guests. Unolza tu swali moja ameni patiakila. Systematically, this is how exactly. it began. This is why. Now, tukwapa. I like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> wow. All right. So maybe if I can ask you, it, it's a common notion or people perhaps, and, and this is a thought I've carried for a very long time in my life. I'm thinking, eh, if I'm giving, then I must have so much that now, okay, I'm comfortable enough to give it to you. So, you guys are okay. <laughs> this economy is not doing you bad. Like, you are just fine. You're baby boying out here. Is that why you have yeah, the no, capacity? No, really. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, just being, we're just being faithful in little. Mm -hmm. So, as the master says, Jesus, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be faithful in little. Mm -hmm. We believe this is a calling. Yeah. And we, we, we believe this is a calling in the if i can i can quote this in the book of matthew 25 you know jesus was talking to his disciple disciples he told them uh for i was in prison yeah. and you visited, visited me yeah. yeah i was hungry and you you fed me you fed me yeah. i was you know i was uh, i was lacking clothes and you clothed me and they would they would ask where did we see you mm. being hungry or being in prison or being thirsty and hmm. all that. And he said, he told them, whenever you did it 
to, you know, this little child of mine who did it for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. So we believe that's, that's a calling, and we're just being faithful in, 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 in the little that he gave us. Mm -hmm. But because we have so much, we give not because we have much, but we give because we've been given also. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have something. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom. That's how you answer questions, Lady Ezzelman. Hashtag is Social Friday. Now, a little bit neutral ground cover. I, I get into your business again. Uh, last Saturday was Suicide Awareness, International Suicide Awareness Day, if I am not wrong, yeah. on the day and the title. But the month in general is just generally about a suicide awareness. And if we kind of zoom into Africa, zoom, zoom, Kenya, mm -hmm. statistics, first of all, are, are not all that to the letter because not people, not many people report at the old neighbor, I'm going to do I'm to equate First of all, there's already stigma around that. But it's a common fact that sana sana ini shida boy child. I yeah. don't know why maybe also the research is not researching over there <laughs> but if it's really affecting the boy child then, then what's going on? What's the problem? Yeah um, wow it's a, it's a very it's a very important topic we need to speak about it. Yes please. Yeah because uh, you know the Bible says you have not been given the spirit of fear but the spirit of God the spirit that has a sound mind so when your mind is not sound, you will definitely have these thoughts. So, okay, coming to the boy child, I think naturally as men, we don't like opening up. And you know, yeah, I'm you're looking trying at to my confirm. DJ, wait. <laughs> he does not like opening up. Like Men's does. Conference 2022. <laughs> this was the topic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm joking. Bye. But, <laughs> yeah, um, um, naturally, naturally, like... And, and, and because of this, you know, when you pile up issues within you for such a long time, it will be detrimental even to your thought process, you know? You will not be thinking straight. Mm -hmm. That's how come you see people walking on the street and they are talking to themselves, you know? Because they have issues, you mm -hmm. know? People, people are hurting and that's why we need to spread some love the more. Mm -hmm. yeah. And kindness. And kindness, Sana, Sana yeah. kindness. Yeah. What do you think on the topic? How, how can we get, mm. we get that out of our heads that dudes are not supposed to cry, uh, you're supposed to, well, Chelsea fans, it's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool fans also, it's going to be uh, just fine. So how do we move from that school of thoughts, Manze? Like how do we leave that and move into progression where a guy, if he's not feeling okay, just okay. is okay to say, yo, I'm not okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll uh, provide uh, not a solution, but uh, a suggestion. Mm -hmm. We can take it or leave it, but I, I encourage you to, to take it. <laughs> uh, two things mm -hmm. that, has, uh, that have really helped, helped me in my, my growth as a, as a human being, or also as a, as, a, as a believer, you know, uh, mentorship and fellowship, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. having mentors. Mm -hmm. You know, having someone uh, emotionally, uh, let me say, em emotionally stronger than you, mm -hmm. uh, spiritually mature than you, mm -hmm. and why not phys ph physically mature? I mean by physically, I mean someone who has lived uh, longer than you, yeah. you know, was, has been, you know, going through, uh, who went through some of the things that you are going through. Because through, uh, through be told, uh, we we didn't start we, we didn't start this this life. You know? mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. lived before before us, yeah. so we can still get wisdom from them, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, also fellowship. You know the people that you surround yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah, that's know, important. You know, fellowship mm -hmm. promotes that. You know that openness. You can open to the people because you need to come out. Mm -hmm. You need to come out of hiding, mm -hmm. yeah. like you know, like Adam and Eve. You you know the story. Mm -hmm. You know, they went and and hide. My Eve. By so the we way. need to. <laughs> I have so many Just questions for Eve of, right now. But it's come out of hiding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Come out of hiding and talk about it. What happens? Uh, and and I, I want to finish this particular topic with a question. What if? you have been hurt by society, maybe the people, maybe even de denominations like the Kamani Dini, if, mm. if it's church, if it's, you know, the mosque or any other platform. Mm -hmm. Yes, these people have hurt you. So you have a kind of, 
uh, sensitive. Sen you, you don't really want to go and hang out with people because, hey, these other people, this other church, they did this. That, what's making these people better? I'm also supposed to, oh, it's true, I'm a funny element of coca, but no, the acting street or even family members can, can do you dirty. So how do you now find courage within yourself to stay, to, okay. to keep away the suicidal thoughts? Okay, I'll speak from my perspective as a child of God. I think, not I think, but this is what I believe. As long as I have a good relationship or a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, then I'm able to withstand. Matthew 11:28 says, Come to me, all you who are heavy laden and are weary, and I will give you rest. So Jesus Christ is the source of rest. Mm -hmm. You know, We don't find rest in any other platform other than in Christ Jesus himself. Why am I saying this? Mm -hmm. Myself, I have a history where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I was addicted to drugs. I was addicted to all other things in my campus life. But the moment I began walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, that's how I came to realize that, man, there is peace in him. Because he says in the Bible that the peace that I leave to you is the kind of peace that the world cannot give. So the world cannot give that peace. Because at the end of the day, we are striving to find that peace. And that is why you'll, you'll see somebody getting hooked to a, a particular kind of drug. Because it, it ampere peace for some few minutes. And, and then after, wears off. Yeah, and then after he wears off, he's back to those thoughts. You know, mm. it's like inside of him there's a war. But that war can be calmed down in the man Jesus Christ. This is my own personal experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not speaking about what I had. I experienced it myself, mm -hmm. you know. And at some point, you'll be surprised. I even thought about suicide, you know. Although, by the grace of God, I was not able to do it. Mm -hmm. But when I came to realize that there's a man who loves me. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, every human being just wants that assurance, man, mm -hmm. that there's somebody somewhere who cares for you, who loves you just the way you are, mm -hmm. who has accepted you just the way you are. You don't need to pretend in front of him. Mm -hmm. You just need to go the way you are and he'll accept you. That's mm -hmm. why Jesus is saying, come to me, all you, mm -hmm. you know. He has not, Ajawekama sanctions that you need to be this height or, no, it's just the way you are. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say. Man, you sound like a good boy. Look at this, smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, I don't think my next question will. Okay, let's just just do the best you can with this question because um, he's touched on substance abuse and, and that's not, that's something that's quite rampant, you know. Like some, it's kind of where we go to find peace. Like, hey, mafte me panda, whoo, it's Friday, shere. We kind of want to forget about it, then we'll deal with it on Monday or on Tuesday or yeah. any other day that, uh -huh. so was it, Okay, maybe we start with you. Was it, did you stop immediately or is it a smooth transition or what exactly happened? And then maybe you can take it over. Yeah, that's a very good question. Because um, when, I, when, when I entered or when I, when I rededicated my life to Christ, it was a, it was a process. It's a journey. It's not a, it's not a sprint. You know, somebody was telling me this morning, our walk with God is not a, it's not a sprint. It's a, it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. You're there for, for the long call, you know. So it's a step-by-step -step process. And within that step-by-step -step process, there's growth, you know? You, you grow, there are some things you learn, there are some things you unlearn, there are some things you discover, you know? And as you continue discovering these things, automatically the things, they fall off. You realize, hey man, I'm better than this, you know? I'm, I, I don't need to continue following this route anymore, you know? This is the way, you know? It gives you focus, it makes you to be, um, you know, just have that aim in life. So the moment you have that aim and focus, you're able to remove all forms of distraction. But this is what I will say. It is Christ who changes. Mm -hmm. sure. I don't change myself. I did not change myself. It is him through fellowship in his word, through prayers. prayers. He said fellowship. Mm -hmm. Fellowship was a very key, played a very key role in my growth mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as a Christian and also coming from that drug addiction. It helped me to stand firm. Mm -hmm. Just hanging around people who are of the same mind, people who are focused. Somebody says that if you want to be a millionaire, you work with millionaires, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to be sober, work with people who are sober. Mm -hmm. And definitely you will be sober, mm -hmm. you know? So there are also those practical elements that you need to also uh, do as a, as, a, as, a, as a person. There are choices you need to deliberately make them for you to be able to come out of that, of that pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just gave an example of fellowship. There's also just time because the, the the problem is time management when you find yourself with a lot of time in your hands you will definitely this is the flesh you know you will be definitely drawn to things that are may may harm you so how you manage your time you you, you just preoccupy yourself with 
studying, you may just learn something new, you know. Um, uh, another thing is you spend time maybe with family, just doing the things that you love, the things that give you peace, something that when you do it, you will find, you will find joy in your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I can say. As you take it, Meshak? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, say it. Summarized. You say it. Summarized. But I think um, I think I also went through. You know, uh, I was taken also down by a certain addiction, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, uh, like I said, you know, I just came out of hiding. You mm -hmm. know what the enemy the the enemy wants you to to believe that uh, God doesn't love you anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like you cannot be accepted. Yeah. And anymore. then enter shame and guilt. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. You have said it, shame and guilt. So you cannot go back to him. Mm -hmm. So when I realized, I realized that I can still go back to him because I wasn't given the, I wasn't uh, like given the power to fix myself. Mm -hmm. I can't fix myself. Yeah. The one who designed me and uh, who gave me was my purpose, value and all that is the one who can fix me. Mm -hmm. So I went back to him mm -hmm. and he did the work. I like that. <laughs> All right, Monge, to see you sana. So I have the phone piece for Quite Five Watch channel on Twitter, hashtag Social Friday. It's song time. I right, give us a song, guys. Give us a song. Yeah. We will start this a little bit right. before we continue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just believe that we are his temple. Amen. His house. Amen. Where is the dwelling place? This is your house. This is your dwelling place. This is your home. This is your dwelling place. I am your house. House of prayer. So this is your house. This is your house. This is your dwelling place. So this is your house. This is your house. This is your dwelling place. So this is your home. This is your home. This is your dwelling place. Say, so I am your house. I am your house. I am your dwelling place. Yeah. I am your home. I am your home. I am your dwelling place. Say, this is your house. This is your house. This is your dwelling place. Hey, I am your home. I am your home. I am your dwelling place. I am your house. House of prayer. I am your house, I am your dwelling place. <laughs> one more, one more, one more, one more, one, just one. One. Yeah. I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, this is one of the. Noble Vessels song. Mm -hmm. So just going to, to do it. Uh, yeah. I am a child, a child of God, a chosen generation. He's taking me from one glory to another glory. One more time. I am a child, a child of God, royal priesthood in the kingdom. He is taking me from one glory to another glory. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving from one glory to another glory. I'm taking over. I'm moving, yes, I'm moving, I'm moving, 
moving from one glory to another glory. I'm taking the one more time. Moving, yes, I'm moving. I'm moving from one glory to another glory. I'm taking over from grace to grace, say, from grace to grace, from grace to grace, I'm taking over, from grace to grace, grace to grace, say, from grace to grace, from grace to grace, we're taking over, hey, we are a chosen generation, we taking over. We are a chosen generation. We taking over. We moving, we moving, we moving from one glory to another glory. We taking over. We moving, yes, we moving, we moving from one glory to another glory. We taking over. Hey, I'm dramatic a little bit, but what's <laughs> up, <laughs> Well, all right. How can we find your social media, by the way, so that we can know where to get this wonderful, this wonderful sound from? Yeah, on YouTube, we, mm, it's Noble Vessels, Noble Vessel RTI, mm -hmm. Noble Vessels RTI. On Instagram, uh, Noble Vessels, Noble underscore Vessels underscore RTI. What's the RTI for? Resurrection Temple International. That's our church. See, we are so, <laughs> I like the way you're so proud of it. Yeah, man, it's, oh. a, it's a good place. Yeah. Hey, it's a mine. <laughs> it's a place where God belongs to everybody. Wow. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. Like everybody. They can just come as we are. Yes, everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. Definitely. So, come on to Ametuka Sherehe the night before. They are welcome. You're welcome. Everybody. You're welcome. Oh. Everybody. Mm. 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 Okay, <laughs> we shall put this to the test. But remember, it is at White Five on Facebook, White Two Five Four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Social Friday. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we wind this up? Yeah, man. Uh, what I would like to say, mm. uh, I would just That's like to album. say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, big shout out to the Y Two Five Four family. Ooh. Yeah, Y Two Five Four. If you're watching us from wherever you are. We are going to be having Angaza concert on the 23rd of October 2022. It will be on a Sunday from 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. in the evening. And you are welcome. Tickets are going, I mean, tickets are being sold right now. The Sunday advanced dash. tickets are 500 shillings. Uh -huh. But kamu momoka and you just want to buy them at the gate. Hey, so saba Just. Okay. So saba pekeake. Yo. So it's a family function. Mm -hmm. We will also have kids. So we have the adult ticket sales, 500 shillings. And then the for, for the kids, 200 advance and mm. then 300 at the gate. Kuna bouncing castle. We will be bouncing for the <laughs> Lord. <in Sunday. laughs> I like that. And uh -huh. also we'll be having a Alice Kimans in the house. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, and Pastor Pizza uh -huh. in the house and uh, Mama Sheshe, Mama Sheila. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Come and you will you will see that powerful woman of God uh -huh. and uh, Brother Andrew uh -huh. and the House of Worship. Uh -huh. So come, come, come. We are waiting for you. The excitement. Even yeah. his yeah. feet are you moving. Know. He can <laughs> sit still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also uh -huh. uh, Pastor Robert Birale, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he will be among the guests there. He will help us host the event. So it's when, did, when did Robert Birale become a pastor? Oh, huh. you don't know yet? No. All right. I, don't know. I have questions. Nionia, see me after this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Rajis? <laughs> Wait, let me finish this so I can get back and I have questions for Rajis. All right. So in conclusion, there is a lady called Rita Brenda. I want that information to sink in. Uh, <laughs> that is the first part of the message. Message. Ooh, message. The second part of the message is apparently it's Alan's birthday on Sunday. That is this oh, coming wow. Sunday. Oh, wow. So <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Uh huh. How old are you turning? Are we allowed to ask? 
yeah, Man I'm of young God, forever. 16 forever, <laughs> 18 forever. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so very much. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Rita, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Tumwongezea chopi, but of the interview. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Yeah, we really uh, appreciate yeah, it. Mm, I really want one more. Could you give me chorus, just one small chorus, then a DJ will take it away. Is that fine? Yeah. yeah fine. Hashtag Social Friday. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just love this one. We can do the one we, we started with. Yeah. 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 See, he will, he will never fail. Never fail. See, he will. He Never fail. never fail. God will. God will. Never fail. Never fail. He has never has. He never has. And he never will. He never will. He has never has. Never has. Never will. Never will. In him. In him. We are safe. We are safe. And in him. In him. We are safe. We are safe. He has never failed. He's never failed. And he never will. And he never will. He has never failed, and he never will. In him, we are safe. So don't you worry, 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 don't you worry. Yeah.